the money and they gave him the commercial. They gave him the documentary. You don't feel sorry for you, you took the deal. <laughs> Out of here. I'm gonna play, man. He was trash, everything. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think Colin Kaepernick was gonna get this far. And it's no disrespect to him. I just felt like at the age that he's at and after all the football he's missed, there wasn't really a lot that he could contribute to a team, at least as a starter. And that's no disrespect to him. I think he was absolutely electric when he was on the field in the early 2010s, but it seems like a team is finally gonna give him a chance, like a legitimate tryout. So before we get to the content, I wanted to let you guys know that we're making a huge push on TikTok, so make sure you follow us there. We're gonna start live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash TF microphone, because I can't currently live stream on my YouTube channel for another couple months. And now that we get all that out of the way, break. Kaepernick did all that and took the money and then got the commercials. We don't see Kaepernick outside. Where he at? I ain't never seen him outside. I never seen him outside. All right, so like, don't even say. I see him throwing the ball, trying to get back in though. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, but he already took the money. All oh, that's cap. Like, mm. we ain't respecting that, bro. You took the money, the commercials. Yeah. We don't see you outside. We don't see him in the hood. He don't do nothing. Like, yeah. we cool, but now nah, we ain't even saying Kaepernick. Mike check one two one two. What's going on, everybody? The Colin Kaepernick dilemma is a very very simple one to explain. On one hand, he was the quarterback for some of the most electric teams in the early 2010s, being the QB of the San Francisco 49ers. He currently holds the playoff record for most yards rushed by a quarterback in a playoff game. And whenever he was playing, he definitely left his mark on the football field. The issue with Colin Kaepernick, at least when it comes to football, is the fact that when you look at his statistics throughout his career, Colin Kaepernick had a 59.8% completion percentage. He has a beautiful touchdown to interception ratio with a 72 to 30. And in terms of rushing the football, he's rushed for 1600 yards throughout his five year career. But the issue was as soon as those San Francisco 49ers teams fell apart when Navarro Bowman got injured. And next thing you know, Patrick Willis is retiring and Jim Harbaugh is leaving. And once the 49ers started going into a rebuild, that's when Colin Kaepernick started started playing his absolute worst football. Now, it wasn't significantly worse than how he was playing before, but it was enough to tell the San Francisco 49ers that this isn't necessarily an individual that could carry a football team. And that's the truth. Because at the same time, as the San Francisco 49ers front office was realizing this, Colin Kaepernick began his activism, starting to kneel for the national anthem. And next thing you know, Colin Kaepernick opts out of his contract, hits free agency, and ever since then, he hasn't been picked up by a team. Now, obviously there are reasons for that. At the same time, Colin Kaepernick sued the NFL for him being blackballed. They settled for an undisclosed amount, so he got financially compensated for that. And since then, he has been critical of the NFL. He's likened the NFL draft to slavery before. And this brings us to where we currently are. Colin Kaepernick decided a few months ago to legitimately make a push to join a NFL team again, saying he feels like he could contribute to a NFL team and a locker room, saying that he won't be a distraction and actually was a positive presence in a locker room. And it looks like the Las Vegas Raiders are willing to give him a chance because according to Adam Schefter, and I love the language Adam uses here, Colin Kaepernick, who last played football in 2016, the same year he started kneeling during the national anthem to protest racial injustice, is scheduled to work out this week for the Las Vegas Raiders. League sources told ESPN, more on NFL Live now. I really think Adam should just stick to Colin Kaepernick, we all know who Colin Kaepernick is, who hasn't played football since 2016, is scheduled to work out this week for the Las Vegas Raiders. But I digress. Adam actually does a nice little deep dive on ESPN, noting some significant features of 
this report. One being the fact that this is going to mark Colin Kaepernick's first workout with an NFL team since being exiled. And it will be the first time the former star quarterback visits with the team since he flew to Seattle to meet with the Seattle Seahawks in May of 2017 before they passed on the opportunity to sign him. Kaepernick also played at the University of Nevada, Reno, which was the only school to offer him a scholarship. And now the pro team in Nevada is the only one in the NFL that is open to giving the civil rights activist another opportunity. I think it's more interesting to note that this is actually a match that makes sense. The Las Vegas Raiders recently lost Marcus Mariota, who was their scrambling QB that backed up Derek Carr to the Atlanta Falcons. Marcus Mariota now actually gets an opportunity to start for a rebuilding team. And honestly, I wish him the best of luck because I think he definitely deserves that opportunity. Now Colin Kaepernick is able to come in if he does win over the Las Vegas Raiders during his tryout and pretty much fill in the role of backup QB that has the ability to scramble who is going to back up Derek Carr. Now, I'm going to be honest, the jury is out in regards to Colin Kaepernick's ability to still be that mobile QB. Because at the same time, you have to understand that this man is 34 years old. So I don't know how much of his athletic ability is there because he's been out of football for six years as well. But in an interview with the I Am Athlete podcast, Colin Kaepernick actually stated that he knows he has to find his way back in. And if he comes in as a backup, that's fine but that's not where I'm staying. And when I prove that I'm a starter, I want to be able to step on the field as such. I just need the opportunity to walk through the door. So it seems like Colin Kaepernick's end goal here is actually to start for a football team at some point. Now, look, just remaining objective in my analysis and with respect to Colin Kaepernick, again, I think he was a very entertaining football player while he was in the NFL. Do I think he is worthy of being a backup QB be in the NFL? Well, when you consider the fact that the current backup QB for the Las Vegas Raiders is Jared Stidham, and when you look at the other backup QBs in the NFL, then most definitely. I mean, with respect to the Carolina Panthers, if you have Sam Darnold as your starting QB, then I really believe Colin Kaepernick could at the very minimum be a backup QB. But do I think Colin Kaepernick is worthy of being a starting quarterback in the NFL? If we're going based off of his old tape and based off of what he was able to do during the 2010s yes. for the six years that he was with the San Francisco 49ers, with all due respect, I don't think so. Do I think he could be a valuable backup and a great mentor to some of these young players? I mean, I would have loved to see him on the Chicago Bears, maybe be a mentor to Justin Fields. I would like to see him in the same role that Robert Griffin III was in with the Baltimore Ravens. I don't even know if Colin Kaepernick would be able to take on that mentorship role, but I do understand the Las Vegas Raiders' interest in Kaepernick. Needless to say, I think it's going to be interesting as well. I guess you could say Colin Kaepernick is this year's Tim Tebow if he makes it back into the NFL, although Tim Tebow was a little bit more of a circus last year with his conversion to tight end and Urban Meyer being his head coach and the Jaguars in of itself were a huge circus last year. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.